Last weekend was the Broadside War Game Show in Gillingham, and as usual, Posty's Rejects decided to go on the road with our own particular brand of madness. This year, Posty put on a game, Skirmish at St Francis Bay, Smugglers on the Kentish Coast. Kent is a perfect location for smugglers, close to France, with good transport links to London and with gently sloping beaches making landing goods easy. Smuggling is old as taxation itself, but in the 18th century, high import taxes on goods such as silks, brandy, tobacco and tea were highly priced by the so-called free traders. And with plenty of wealthy customers to service, there was a lot of money to be made for those that could avoid being caught. One group of smugglers that would have been well known in the local area was the North Kent Gang. They operated in areas like Chalk, Gravesend, Reculver and Ramsgate. And during the 1780s they brought their contraband ashore and stashed it in caves near Margate. Initially trade was small, supplementing low incomes, but eventually the business grew into what nowadays would be called an organised crime network. Violence was soon being employed to protect the business, and clashes with law officers or revenue men were common. In Gravesend, where our group meet, the Three Doors pub is a famous smuggler's den and at one time there were tunnels running underground from the pub up into the town so that contraband could be moved during the daytime without being seen. The game we portrayed is a fictitious encounter, but may still have been an occurrence many times in reality as the government tried to stop the smuggling operations. In our particular game, um, the scenery was made mostly by Stuart. The figures were mostly foundry or park field miniatures, 25mm. The ruined church came from debris of war and the boat from Iron Gate scenery. And we used Posty's own very simple skirmish rules. Nothing overly complex, a lot less for us old guys to remember. Um, and very quick, we actually got through five or six turns by lunchtime and the meant the game whipped along quite long and we actually had time for a second go towards the end of the day. One of the, the side rules that Posty made was that anyone that knocked over any scenery would have to wear a silly wig and by the end of the day all of us had ended up having to put that horrible wig on at some point or another because we'd knocked over a tree or bashed the boat um, but it did create a lot of laughter it will be a bit hot in that hall on the day the temperature was soaring outside and of course with our crackers hobby we were all indoors roasting but we had a fantastic time nonetheless and we had lots of visitors all day long um, it seemed to be fairly busy not as busy as normal but we had a steady stream of visitors all day long coming over and looking at our table enjoying the miniatures and having a laugh with us and at the end of the day that's what it's all about but of course the show was more than just our demo game there are other games on at the show and so i'm now going to show you just a few a selection small selection of photos of some of the other games that are on display
And there you have it, just a selection of some of the other games on display. And we even managed to get a second game in because we had some extra time towards the end of the day. And we didn't want an empty table, so we set up and had a rough, quick game at the end of the day, just so that there was something going on for visitors. And we were still receiving visitors right up to the point when people were starting to pack up. But more importantly, we had a we had a wonderful time. It was exhausting. It was extremely hot. We were extremely tired by the end of the day. So apologies to anyone who I spoke to while sat down. I would normally stand up, but I think all of us were a bit exhausted at that point. But we'd had a fantastic day and we really look forward to next year's broadside.